Hello everybody, it is the Andy051 here, and welcome to the first episode of Card Friday. Yes, on this first episode of Card Friday, um, we will be talking about Kuja Kuja Ku. Uh, that's his Japanese name. Yeah, right here. Um, so, as by a comment in, on the video, uh, introduction video, um, someone wants me to go over this card. Yep. Um, so, let's get started. It's a level 3 win wing beast monster. Its effect is, if this card is tribute and sent to the graveyard, you can add one level 4 or lower wind monster from your deck to your hand. You can only use this effect of uh, nine, 9 snake peacock once per turn. Uh, that's supposedly the English translation, but it's not official yet. So yeah, there's 9 heads, 9 snake heads, and 1 peacock. So anyways, if it was tributed, so which means tribute summoned um, anything, and let's jump to the link network real quick. Um, so right here, it's, here's it on the end. So if it's tributed, you can search out and add one level 4 wind monster. So it should work, it works well with wind art and Icarus attack since it is also a wing beast. Um, Icarus attack, I prefer it using Icarus attack over at Wind Art if you're gonna run this. Because you essentially will go plus one. Well on Wind Art um, you, you use two cards, um, bounce one of your opponents and add one. It's still neutral, but this allows Icarus attack allows you to go plus because you destroy two cards of theirs. But on the other hand if they start like roll your Icarus attack, well you kind of go a little minus, but you still get to add, right? Because this card was tributed by a cost. And this card still gets its effect because it is an if effect. So yeah, whether or not if this card is worth running, me personally, um, I don't know. Because honestly, I just feel like the wind monsters, they don't really need much searchers, searching monsters, because you essentially have to have two cards in your hand to use this monster's effect. First, you need this. If you only have this card in your hand, well, it's kind of dead, I should say. And Torguide Sangin makes it a much better option because chances are all your wind monsters that's level 4, they're not that strong. They're, they're like 1500 or less, mostly, and Sangin can search out most of them. If, like, just search out any wind monster, it might be a little better. But yeah, um, so you essentially need two cards in your hand, anyways. Um, and you need to first set this card. You set this card on the field, okay, you set it, then you set an Icarus attack, for example. And then they end phase MST you. Well, then you kind of go real minus. And plus there's already some good searching cards for the win archetypes. For example, Dragon Ravine for Dragoonities, you can just ditch card, ditch one card and add a Dragoonity monster if you're playing Dragoonities. Um, the Hysteric Sign for Harpies, uh, you, when this card is activated, you can add one win. You can add one discard from your deck during the end phase if this card is destroyed. You can add three harpy cards with different names from your deck to your hand. Yes, you can add three. You didn't hear me wrong. Um, and this card, which goes with this card, makes you special, which you can add with this card, uh, which makes you special summon harpy monsters from your deck. So, yeah. And for the Phantom Beastcraft, I might consider playing this with. Um, spiritual win art in my Phantom Beast crafts um, because well that deck has a lot of consistency issues because sometimes you would draw dead and well I play the smart variant and of course I would draw draw dead but anyways let's try not to get off topic here um, sometimes you would draw dead of this of like one triple of this, open triple of this. It is a 1900 beater which makes it good, but like sometimes you just won't be able to summon anything. I do play like double of this in that deck, and this card, you can tribute one token to add 
one Phantom Beastcraft monster from your deck to your hand, which is basically the same as this, but you only have to tribute a token. And it has 1900 attack and opposed to 1200. And you don't really have to, well, you kind of do have to use two cards. One essentially getting the token on the field, and then you can tribute it to add. So, if you're playing also Miss Valleys, I don't see much people running this, but I'm pretty sure this card misses the timing if you try to win art that. So, yeah. So don't try it. But you can special summon it because it is a level 3, but I don't see a lot of people really running Shrine of the Mist Valley, so that can go away. I can say goodbye. With this, uh, once per turn, you can special summon one wind monster. If you already have that preset and you return one Mist Valley monster, I guess you can special summon this and just win art it, but then again, is it really worth having two cards? Because if you just draw this without any of these, any of these two, you either have to sack it for a level 6 monster, or um, or it stays dead in your hand, basically. So, that's why I prefer just like running Tour Guide Sangan. So, me personally, I probably wouldn't play it. If I do play it, I probably would just like play it at 1 with a win deck. And also, I forgot to mention Gustos, but Gustos, they just summon one after another after another. So, you really don't need that. Because once you have just like one card which you can search out with Sangan really easily, they just keep on going and going and going. And there's also Italy. So yeah. So at most I would just like run one probably with with um depends what deck I might be running. If I'm running Fan of Beastcraft, I might just run one with probably double or triple win art. Since you can tribute the tokens for win art, it just says tribute one monster. And Icarus attack, um, um, I might. If you're playing Dragon Ace, I can see you run one and an Icarus attack. But other than that, I really don't see much. And Harpies as well. Because Icarus attack and Harpies, yeah, they work well together. And I don't see much people playing Miss Valleys, and I don't play much. And by the way, this. It is all based on my opinion. If you think this card has more use, okay, that's good for you. Because I never really played this card at all. I just heard of it after that comment. So, yeah. So, if you have some other use for this card, please tell me. And there's, I'm pretty sure there's level 6 wind monsters that you can sack for, but is it really worth it? Um, is it really worth like sacking for a level six win monster. Um, where's win? Level six of six. Um, and in effect, or five or six. I, I should put five in here. Well, if it can survive one turn, because it has quite low defense and attack, so I really don't see you just sacking this card for something else. And plus, sacking monsters isn't even good anymore. So it's all about special summoning from the deck. That's where, is it, where it's at. So, yeah. So, thank you guys for watching. And leave suggestions for next week's Card Friday in the comment section below. And we will see you guys next time.